It's getting closer. Almost, almost. Okay. Maybe yeah. not coats, but we'll get some long sleeve weather maybe. Okay, we'll all take right. that. All okay, right. all right. Thanks, guys. Join us again in 30 minutes. Joe, the governor's visit this afternoon comes after the city of Altus received $575,000 in drought relief back in 2012. That money will be used for a new water pipeline, but still the situation is so dire, officials say creating even more water sources might be necessary. So, a basketball season is finally here. It seems like it took forever. Mm -hmm. oh, how do you think the uh, men's team is going to do? I think we're going to do pretty well. We got yeah. some new pieces in. We mm -hmm. lost a few ones, but we're going to have a good core to build off of. We're building off our first NCAA tournament appearance. Mm -hmm. Who knows what we'll be able to do this year. Okay, I mean, because out with the old and with the new, right? Yep. Championship time. Is that what they say? Let's hope. Okay. <laughs> That's all we can do is hope. Exactly. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, you heard it first right here. We'll see you back in 30 minutes. Hello, Cameron University. I'm Kim Garner. On today Today's show will take a look at this year's 50th annual Miss Lawton pageant. Who took the crown? Stay tuned to find out. All this and more coming up on CU News. Hello, Cameron University. I'm Kim Garner. On today's show, we'll take a look at Rick Bayless, one of this year's academic festival speakers. Reporter John Bear has more. All this coming up on CU News. Coming up at 6, we'll take a look at Kevin Durant's recent injury and also what the CDC plans to do about the Ebola outbreak. See you in 30 minutes. Coming up after the break, we'll take a look at why college university enrollment is declining. And also we'll get your reaction to President Obama's recent decision to send ground troops to Liberia. See you in 30 minutes. Otis Gentry is no stranger to the Lawton Fort Sill community when it comes to coaching and fitness. With over 15 years in the area, he's now calling Cameron University his new home. The retired Army vet is very excited about taking on his new position as fitness manager. I just think it's a, a great opportunity that was offered to me, and I took it, and I love it and going to run with it. His vision for the rec center is to upgrade from old to new equipment. I would like to bring in the heavy ropes as an added to the uh, fitness center. He says the upgrades will encourage students to work out more and to spend more time in the fitness center, taking more classes in physical education. New ideas and plans are in store for the Aggie Rec Center. Reporting live for CU News, I'm Kim Garner. Cameron University welcomed Lawton High students to enjoy lunch and talk about the importance of attending college right after high school. President MacArthur and other staff members attended the luncheon and gave students advice and tips on how to prepare for the next step in their education. Jamie Glover, Vice President of Enrollment Management, explained how and why the luncheon was so beneficial for high school students and also what the university hoped the students that attended gained from the experience. We bring groups of high school students on campus. Um, the intent is really just to expose them to a college experience, expose them to a university environment, to talk to them a little bit about some of the things that they need to be doing. She also spoke about some of the important aspects that Cameron wanted students to learn from the luncheon. The importance of pursuing a college degree and then how to be a successful college student once they actually do um, get to a campus. The transition from high school to college can be difficult without direction and the staff here at Cameron want to make sure that every student has the right information for success. Also just a reminder, there will be another high school informational held next month here on the 15th. Reporting for CU News, I'm Kim Garner. Students are encouraged to get involved with the activities offered here on campus. Reporting for CU News, I'm Kim Garner. Construction objects such as these are causing many problems and concerns for students here on campus. Faculty and staff members are meeting today to try to come up with a solution for this problem. Reporting live for CU News, I'm Kim Garner. School officials will meet with President MacArthur today to discuss the recent cutbacks and also the possibility of scholarship extensions. If plans are approved, students that receive these scholarships can expect to see an increase in the spring 2015 term. Reporting for CU News, I'm Kim Garner. The city of Lawton has issued more than 1,500 notices since the beginning of May for tall grass such as this. Once homeowners receive the notices, they have 10 days to take care of the problem or face more consequences. Reporting live, I'm Kimberly Garner.